Hello, today I want you to work with me as I square a number that is four digits long. This is going to be 5,267 squared. Okay, I want you to write this number down and then work with me. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically start from the, the left and move to the right and build this number up. So I want you to kind of see what I'm doing, follow along with me, and then you can use this as your own way of practicing. Now when you square a number, it's easy because you're dealing with the same number as you're doing your equation. It's not going to be too hard to see in your head and to work it out. But you have to do the proper steps to get the answer. So let's start off with 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. What you're going to do, you're going to just imagine a nail. Nail is the phonetic code for 25. And you have a nail and you just kind of just place it in memory somewhere, okay? Because you're going to be using it, but it's not going to be a permanent number. It's just going to be temporarily used. So think of nail. Next, you're going to go 5 times 2, and you're going to double that. So 5 times 2 is 10. Double that is 20. You're going to add the 2 of 20 to the 25, make it to 27. So it's like neck. So you can like touch your, your neck and just think of you got, maybe you got two necks. So necks is there. Okay, next you're going to go to the um, the 6, okay? So five, 5 times 6 is 30, double that, it's going to be 60, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so it's going to be 64, okay? So now what you have, you've you got the 0 from the, the next, you put the 64 over that, and now you've got 2764. You imagine that on your neck, you're pulling out a chair, you just use that action, okay, or see it any way you want, but I like to just use um, a lot of emotion and a, a lot of senses. So if you're touching your neck, you're thinking neck, and you imagine yourself pulling a cherry out, you can actually see that 2764. All right, now what you're going to do, you're going to go over to the uh, 7 this time, and you're going to, 5 times 7 is going to be 35, so you're going to double that, and then you're going to go 2 times 6 is 12, double that 24, so that's going to be 94. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the 9 of 94 and attach it to the 64, and now make it 73. Okay, so now you, now you've got your neck, and there's 73, which is a comb. Okay, so you're now you're pulling a comb out of your neck, neck comb, and then you've got a four. So just hold up four fingers because it's going to be like a you know, temporary spot. You just use your hand. You can you can just kind of do that. You know, if someone's giving you a, an equation and you want a whole number, just use your fingers. Okay, so it's going to be a four. So you've got neck comb and then you got four okay good now next thing you want to do you want to go back over to the to the two and two times seven is 14 double that it's going to be 28 and then six times six is 36 so 36 and uh, 48 would be 64 so you have 64 again now what you want to do you want to take remember you had that four well six and four is ten so it's going to make that comb into 7, 4, so that's the car, 0, because 40, and then you've got you've got that uh, 4 again. So now what you have here, you've got neck, cars, and then you got that 4 floating around again, okay? So you can use that. Okay, the next thing you want to do, numbers are getting smaller and smaller. You're going to go from the uh, 6 to the 7, okay? So 6 times 7 is 42, which you're going to double that, and that's going to be 84. So now what you do, you take the 8 and you add it to the 4th and make it to a 12, okay? So everything else is, is remain the same. You've got your neck, you've got your card, but now instead of that 0, 4, you've got a 12, so it's going to be an egg. I like to use egg instead of uh, 10, which would be phonetic code. I like to think of 12 in a dozen, that's, that's from the tree list, so just think of egg. So now you've got out of your neck, you've got uh, the car, and there's an egg that hit the car, okay? And you still got that four. It's still kind of floating in space. Okay, the four will remain there for a while. And the last part is the seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine. So you take the four, cover the four, make it to an eight. Nine's left over. So now your number is. You can actually see it. You, you can see uh, two seven, right? Seven four, one two eight nine, and that should be your answer. And write that out. Okay. So. That's how I do it, 
and that's how it's done. So the answer would be, again, again, you can um, review it by just looking at what you had or write it down. But the answer is going to be 27741289. And if you want to get the calculator out and see if you got that right, and you'll see that's the correct answer. Okay, and that's a great way to practice. It's a good mental practice. And it's really a fun way to to really build confidence with these numbers that you're learning and by doing mental math. Now, I don't really find in life you really need to ever square a number that large. You can always get your calculator out. But, you know, I don't think that you ever really meet anyone who can do this, okay, unless they learn these techniques. So this is a great mental practice, and it really helps you to see how numbers flow from the left to the right, okay? So I hope this was something that you were able to use and continue to use because it's a great mental exercise, okay? So until next time, thank you for watching, and have a great day.